Hey folks, here we are with another match in Miyawaki after the last little murder fest. We've ended up on New Dawn, which is a pretty common map to pop in low tiers. And looking at the lineups, uh, the enemy get two Langleys, while we get what looks like a Saipan. Nope, Independence. I am very, very bad at identifying ships. Um, and we get an extra battleship over them. In fact, we get a Congo. Straight away I decide, hmm, maybe I'll head towards the center of the map, see what I can do there. We've got a Wix in front of us, the tier 3. 3 US destroyer which leads to the Clemson. It's very similar to the Clemson. In fact, you may notice it looks almost identical. Really, the main difference is that the Clemson has more guns. Um, otherwise, they handle basically the same. They have the same torpedo uh, tube layout. They're both very good at the same thing, which is getting in close range and just murdering everybody. First thing to get spotted is, as usual, a battleship. Battleships are obviously big and slow, and so they tend to be lit before anything else. Myself and the Wix cut up this channel. With an eye on getting into the B zone, starting the cap, and maybe putting some pain on these cruisers. Take some blind shots at the Phoenix. You can see some torps coming across there already from one of our destroyers. Now the Phoenix and the Omaha, which follows it, are unique among the US cruisers uh, in that they have torpedoes. I'm not going to count the Atlanta in this because the Atlanta is less a cruiser than it is a giant destroyer, much like the Iwaki. Um, the only difference really being that the Atlanta doesn't get smoke, but it, it really is just a big destroyer um, in the way it handles. Anyway, we're putting some hits on this Phoenix, bit of a mixed bag. I'm not quite as good at aiming against the uh, US cruisers as I am against the Japanese ones, but again, those long uh, engineering houses on these old four funnel ships make for a nice gunnery target. After narrowly avoiding that island, uh, I went back around the other side. This guy is nearly dead. One or two good hits should finish him, and he's busy reversing after getting himself stuck on terrain, so it won't be hard to aim shots. Boom. That's finished him. Enemy cruiser founder. Now there's the Yubari to deal with. Our teams managed to capture the central zone, although the enemy are threatening it. We haven't captured A yet, but we're in the process of doing exactly that. C is held by the enemy, but there's not really any reason to push it just yet. And here we have a burning Tatsutakum barreling into view. I take a couple shots at long range, just to see what I can get. And it turns out I can get one of his turrets. So for now I focus on him while closing range with the Yubari, who is behind an island. You can see the Tatsuda slowing to a stop as he loses his engines. Fire off a couple last parting shots, and then shift my attention back to the Yubari, who is busy launching torpedoes at our guys in the cap zone. And it sounds like he hit somebody. It takes a while for me to bring my guns to bear, but once I do, I can put out a pretty steady wall of fire towards the Yubari. I've just got to get my lead in. The Yubari is quite fast and quite maneuverable, so it's kind of challenging to hit. But I'm able to hit what looks to be the forward magazine there and put out a lot of damage on him. This should finish him off if it hits, maybe not. <laughs> and one of our other cruisers finishes him off instead, but I'll be quite happy with the damage that was dealt. 
So there's incoming fire over here, which means only one thing. There's somebody hiding behind that island. It's not a battleship because both of them are on the far side of the map. Whatever it is, it's firing HE because it just lit me on fire. And it's firing pretty quickly. Problem solved, sir. It seems like it could be a cruiser. There's one unaccounted for. I hook to the right to try and use the island he's behind as cover for myself, perhaps get unspotted, and there's an enemy Langley. So I let loose a couple of shells towards him and actually get some hits. Now there's an enemy destroyer coming in from the west, but he's still quite a distance out, and holy shit, there's the second Langley. While closing range on the island, I start firing at this guy, trying to get my eye in for the lead. Looks like I'm giving it just a bit too much, he's not travelling very fast. And as you can see, that cruiser is now moving out from behind the island. It is in fact another Yubari, and he's fired torpedoes at us and completely missed. Now the Yubari is a much bigger threat to me than the Langley is, so I focus on him for now. I'm able to put in a lot of big hits. If you know where to aim for Citadel hits, you will wreck people so quickly they won't even know what's going on. Uh, unfortunately one of my guns goes down, I don't use my repair team on it yet. Um, I need them in case I get hit by one of these. Because to die a slow death to flooding is not very fun. Unfortunately for the Langleys, their attempts at defending themselves are not going very well right now. And somebody set this guy on fire. More torpedoes in incoming. There are actually friendly torps going for this Langley, who is now fucked. I blast off a couple of torps of my own before realizing I'm about to drive into one of the enemy's torps, but I survive it, get a hit on the Langley, and he's now pretty much doomed. Uh, you can see we've got a destroyer right next to him. I fire off my remaining torps at this guy before putting some gunfire over his way. Now there is a destroyer coming up on my side, those things are bit more of a worry. Uh, so I do try and get some more hits on the Langley, but it becomes clear that this destroyer is more of a threat to me. Not that it matters, because the Langley is now dead. Gives me a chance to deal with this guy. First shot's not so good, but I've got the lead in at least. Second salvo absolutely wrecks him, hitting him in the engines, but not damaging them. And third salvo finishes him off. Now, he did set me on fire, I'm burning, I've got no repair crew for 34 seconds, so I'm going to lose a lot of health to fire, but at this point it doesn't really matter, the match is decided, and we've had an absolute ripper yet again. Um, this is the Iwaki experience. You tend to either blow up immediately, because the thing's so fragile, or you manage to just clown everybody somehow. Enemy torp bombers are going for our Yubari, which is a very poor life choice on their part. The Yubari has the best anti-aircraft defense of any tier 4, and including, uh, in fact, most of the tier 5s. The only thing at tier 5 that has better anti-aircraft defense, I think, is uh, the Congo. And maybe, I think, one of the US cruisers, I'm not sure. But the Yubari has phenomenal anti-aircraft capability for its tier. He launches a couple of torpedoes at something? I don't know. Uh, in any case, the last enemy ship that's left is a single destroyer who's actually done fairly well for himself, but against these odds, I don't fancy his chances. We're about to win on points anyway, and so it becomes a race to see whether we spot him before we actually win the game. Sure enough, uh, our torpedo bombers find him, and he's trying to creep up on our battleship. 
not going to work. 